hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be showing you guys my fragrance wardrobe for the month of april last year i did my fragrance wardrobe by the season i feel like i was just going too long using the same scents and i was just getting tired of it so this year i'm just gonna do them whatever i feel like so i'm gonna zoom you guys in behind me to show you guys my fragrances for this month don't forget to like comment and subscribe so these are the fragrances that i have picked out for this month we have some perfumes and some body mist so i'm gonna go through them one by one and then i'm gonna show you guys some of the fragrance combos that i have in mind and some that i've already tried out so first up we have valentino down and born aroma which is one of my favorites i actually have this same small bottle because i told myself not to use it up until i bought a big one and then pink pp came out and i ended up buying that and being obsessed with that and I kind of forgot about her a little bit so I went ahead and pulled her out next we have Ariana Grande pink cloud I love pink cloud I actually want to buy the big bottle so I want to use this up so I have that next I have truly unicorn fruit I love this scent especially for the spring and summertime it is so good it's good all by itself and it's good with a lot of fragrances so I have that and then I've been on this Juicy Couture binge. So these two Juicy Couture fragrances are actually new to my collection. So of course I want to get some use out of that. But it also inspired me to pull out my older Juicy Couture fragrances. This is Couture La La. And I love Couture La La. She is so sweet and girly. Just a really pretty scent. So I picked that out. And then we have Juicy Couture glace glass say i literally do not know how to say that she smells so good and i actually really really love the bottle i think this is like the prettiest bottle that i own from juicy couture this is like a really sweet floral though so i'm not usually into florals but that's a really sweet floral so she gets a pass and then we have the best juicy couture fragrance in my opinion which is bodacious i love bodacious i recently picked this up from where did i get this from was it yeah, I think I got this from Burlington and it has easily became my favorite Juicy Couture fragrance. So we have her. Next, I have this little perfume pen from Moschino. This is Toy This is Toy 2 Bubblegum. And I always see this scent at like Marshalls and stuff. And I want to buy it because of packaging, which honestly makes no sense. So I told myself like, no, let's just try it out first and see if I even like it before I commit to buying a big old bottle of something that I don't even know what it smells like. I wish I would have just went ahead and bought the bottle because this smells so good and the packaging is so cute. This is a perfume pen, so just imagine a perfume. It's so cute. It actually looks like that. You know, the vibes. So I have that. Next I have Rose Rush from Paris Hilton. I've been obsessed with this since I picked it up. I actually wore this today and I combined it with one of the fragrance mists that I picked up. Y'all, this scent does not miss. This scent is so good. I cannot believe I got it for $12.99. That was such a steal. So I'm going to move the perfumes out the way so we can get into the fragrance mist because they're kind of like blocking the fragrance mist. So let's move those to the side and let's get into these fragrance mists. The first fragrance that I picked out is Sweet Petal Pound Cake for two reasons. One, because this is the perfect time of the year to wear a sweet petal pound cake honestly any time of the year is perfect time of year i think this is a great spring and summer staple i'm just so mad that they bought back ice lemon pound cake and then left her out like why would y'all do that she was so good this one is good all by itself and mixed and i kind of want to mix it with oh cherry i'm not sure why but i just want to do that fragrance combo wise i really want to mix sweet petal pound cake with this fragrance because i feel like they would work well together because this is a sweet floral and this is like come on it's called sweet petal pound cake it's giving gourmand but it's also giving like floral it's such an interesting smell and i think these two work good together so i want to try them out together so i will update you guys and let you guys know how i like this fragrance combo i'm gonna start making shorts for my fragrance combos because i really don't want to do fragrance combo videos because i feel like just so many people are doing fragrance combo videos you can literally combine any fragrance and make a good fragrance combo so it's kind of like i don't know i want to share but i don't want to dedicate a video to it so you guys will see this in a shorts one day and i'll let you guys know how i like it next i pulled out sweetheart cherry and i actually have not gotten much use out of this since i bought her and she's actually really good i want to get into cherry fragrances more and i want to smell these two together for some reason i want to do fragrance combos not just with perfumes and fragrance mist but sometimes i just want to combine two fragrance mist and see what they smell like so i'm definitely gonna try these out together but all by herself she smells so good as well next one of my favorites among the clouds this is gonna literally stay in rotation all spring and summer because i love among the clouds so much 
and I'm gonna mix her with unicorn fruit I was wearing this last summer and it was really good and I also like her with Ariana Grande pink cloud because it smells really good I might even try this with a juicy couture fragrance I don't know which one yet but I feel like that'll be a good one to mix next we have petal parade and this one is a dupe for Prada paradox I should have pulled out Prada Paradox, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I just want to see if they work well together and just mix them with different things. So I am going to pull out Prada Paradox now that I just remembered. Like, this is supposed to be a dupe for Prada Paradox, and I have it. I think this will go good with either Bodacious or Glossé. I'm going to look up how to say this perfume because I don't want to be sounding crazy on the internet saying this perfume all wrong. But I kind of want to try these two together as well as Bodacious. For some reason, I feel like it'll smell good together. So I pulled her out. Of course, of course, I had to pull out a lot of fragrances from the luxury line because I just got them and I want to get some use out of them, test them out, see what I like, see what I don't like. And then, of course, I pulled out Pink Obsess and I also pulled out her big sister because, you know, I want to see if they work well together, see if it's really a dupe, see. I just want to see. I just want to see what this is really giving as far as longevity. I want to see if it mixes well with the original. I just really want to test her out. So we have her. Next, we have Covered in Roses. I wore this today with Rose Rush from Paris Hilton, and these two smell so good together. And then I also wore this fragrance with this Moschino Bubblegum. And why do these two smell good together? This is like the most random fragrance combo that I've ever came up with. But when I received this in the mail, I sprayed it on myself, and I already had this on, and it smelled so good. Like, it was an unintentional thing that happened, and it just ended up smelling good. I kind of feel like so far, this has become my favorite one because she smells so good like she smells so good i literally don't know which one is my favorite one i need to wear them all and just test them all out a little bit more but i'm just really loving covering the roses though and then last i pulled out old cherry like i said i want to try her with sweetheart cherry but i also want to try her with some perfumes i kind of want to try old cherry and bodacious as well i think bodacious goes well with a lot of fragrances because it's just that good. It really is just that good. And then I do have my body hair in my bathroom and everything like that. But I also pulled out some body creams that match some of my fragrances that I have. But unfortunately, the luxury line did not come with body creams or body lotions. So I could only pull out three body lotions or body creams this go around. So of course I have the Petal Pound Cake, Sweetheart Cherry, and Among the Clouds to match their body mist. And I'm just storing them up here in this little basket above my perfumes and whatever and that's my fragrance for a draw for the month of april comment down below and let me know if you have any fragrance combo ideas for the fragrances that i pulled up and also let me know what you'll be using this month because i am curious but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video